Hey guys, it's Cake here, and today we're going to be doing the, um, well, the, you know, the under level of the temple, you know, the, the new temp, the lower temple level, basically. Um, that's basically what we're doing today. And, yeah, I did some grinding off them, obviously, and, uh, I got some cool gear and stuff, and basically the plan is we're going to try completing this level, and it is the last new level they added in the DLC. So, next DLC should be coming out, I think it's coming out September or August, I'm not sure, but it's coming out, I'll obviously do some stuff, and then, for that, well, you know, DLC when it comes out, so, that's basically what I'm doing. Yeah, we're just, you know, getting this uh, mission done. It's one of the shorter missions, I tend to find, it doesn't take too long, if you're looking for a secret, like, you know, the chest and stuff. Um, if you have a good, like, run with it, like, if you put on a decent, if you put on max power level and you have, like, a really good speedrunning gear, you can easily, like, no doubt in my mind, you can probably get, like, because there's no, there's no obscene chest, the thing that makes this level so good, like, compared, like, because obviously Panda Plateau has two obsidian chests that you can get, which make it one of the best level, levels in the game. But so, let's say that you grind, like, you can grind this level, it has, like, five gold chests, and it's like a 10 minute level, not even. Like if you're speedrunning armor, it can be way faster. So what I'm trying so it's probably one of the best levels you can do for grinding. In my opinion. Like just count the gold chest that we get. This like level. It's gonna be ridiculous. Like Because it's just one of those levels that you get so much good gear it's, as long as you know get the gear to complete it properly. Because you know has a lot of secrets, you know, put the lever, 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 I don't know, and you get the chest, you know, by killing all these mobs here, pretty easy, I gotta say, and boom, let's see, another gold chest, number, it's first gold chest of the level, I think, and there's another one that we can get because we flip the lever, just gotta take out the skeletons, here, okay, Left. Uh, it's not, it's not to see. Easy. And then we got. Oh. oh. Now we just got a parkour. We'll, you know, navigate through there and more emeralds. And it's really simple. Pretty easy level. You can do it. All the time. It's probably the best. One of the best levels. Yeah. Well, you know, one of the best levels, basically, in the game. The farm. If you're looking for any soul items, it's probably one of the best levels to do so. Or even the new dual crossbows, which are really good. I don't use them because I prefer like the harp crossbow, the lightning crossbow. You know, like the, the crossbows that shoot multiple arrows because they shoot multiple arrows for the price of one, which is just a big bonus, especially with fireworks, which are really good. Like, to be honest, like, I'm also going to be soon be showing you my new set, like, you know, my new equipment in a later video. Stuff like that, so you yeah. know. Hopefully, we don't take two videos up too long. We can get it done too much. We're gonna obviously try to get most of the things they added. Let's try to avoid this. There's a lot of like mobs here, a lot of XP that we can get. And I'm just gonna bow them all down. We can take them out. Boom, they're all gone now. But yeah, this is a uh, really easy level. You know, gear. I have pretty good gear, I would say. No. Now that, I'm assuming though, we're gonna pop Minecraft Dungeons, you know, the next DLC they come out with is probably gonna contain max level 120. I would assume that. 118. I have a third gold chest of the day, so like already we're getting a lot of gold chests. Go to the there. Leave, yeah, leave the lower temple. It, sometimes if you do get lucky, you could. There are some secrets. Like oh yep, right down here, there's a little secret area, which brings you to a secret area in the map, which contains I think a couple gold chests. 
I don't think there's any obsidian chests that I found, but there could be some that I haven't found yet, so this level is probably great for just farming any like you know uniques or just any rare items that you want. And just great for animal farming, I would say. Also with all the mobs, it's just great for XP. See another little chest right there. Okay, there's a lot of blue guys, there's a lot of fi yeah, the fiery guys, but holy, okay, oh my. Yeah, this level at the bottom gets really chaotic, like a lot, I find. So you gotta be very careful when you're coming down here, because the fire will just delete you if you're not careful. Like, yes, yeah, this is a great way to get- if, you, if you're interested in getting a lot of XP, this is a great way to do so. Like, I'm probably gonna level up here in a second. Probably. Depends, though. I'm not sure what the level cap is. Uh, I thought the level cap was like 100, and then I found out it wasn't. I think the level cap, it may not- this game may not even have a level cap, but there's always a level cap. People probably figure it out like when you send the files in the game and try to figure out what max level. It's probably 999,000. To be honest, most of the games have that level cap. So I would assume, just from playing, that it's probably that. Because I play game, like, in a lot of games, that's probably the max level you will find when you're playing through a game. It's not 1,000, it's most of the times like 999, but. Be honest, yeah, this is like the fifth chest, sixth chest. I don't know. There's a lot of gold chests here, so you can get a lot of emeralds. And it's a great place to farm XP. It's a great level run. Obviously, if you're just going for the gold chest, I would recommend probably just looking for like unique. Unique farming, you can do a lot of that. You can kind of plateau. It's probably one of the best unique farming methods to get great armor. Well, it used to be like, just to get like champion armor, it used to be like Arch Haven, which is just an insanely good level. It was short, it was a sweet level, which had so many good loot, like so much good loot. Hopefully, we can just get past this level quickly, go with chest. You know, I think we're almost done here. More about that, about that. Keep running. Another gold chest down. I think this is like a seventh, eighth, ninth, I don't know. We got a lot of gold chests this game. You know, it's not. And let's just get back to let's just ignore all these mobs so that we can finish off this level. <sighs> Yeah, this is basically it. This is the level. It's really easy. Probably get it done in 10 minutes. Probably less than me. Probably half the time. Or like Then I do it. Because obviously I'm not using a speed running um, armor right now. I'm you know, not using my speed running build. I'm just using my normal build. You know, my newer build, obviously. You know, I used to run champion's armor, which I still like champion's armor a lot. It's probably one of my favorite armor in design and overall just how good it is. I would still recommend grinding for champion's armor. Champion's armor and dark armor, I think. Like in the shroud, it's like, you know, the unique of dark armor and unique of champion's armor are probably some of the best armors you could get right now. But yeah, but that's basically going to wrap up this video for today, guys. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like, comment, subscribe. You know, we're trying to hit some um, six. Hopefully, you know, try to get some 60 subscribers by the end of July, which would be amazing. Uh, see you guys in the next video, and goodbye.